What's up, YouTube? Lil Mitchell, Tank and Miner Battle Tanks. Got the Tactical Mav Miniature Assault Vehicle. Uh, trying to get a video up. This thing here, we got an ignition problem. So we're going to change the ignition switch. Let me get the hatch down, uh, pump up the tire on this trailer, and back this thing off. Get it in the garage for the night. It's been about four days since we put the ignition switch on so we're gonna see if we can uh, fire this bag boy up see if the vampire load's gone if the battery held up all right it's late Friday afternoon uh, so I'm going to try to get the tactical map loaded up on a trailer and we're moving these to my house. That way we can work on this this weekend. I don't have to come to the shop. And with the Corona virus going around, they're locking a lot of things down and people are decorating for Easter for all the kids to drive around. So what we're going to do is wait for this motorcycle to go past. We're going to take uh, these two units back to the house for the weekend and decorate them, put them in the yard so people driving around got something to look at besides each other. All right. Loading up everything now. I had to change the ball on the truck where I bent the hitch. I'll do a little walk around of the shop. It's, I got it about halfway straightened up. Right here is a frame of the units. Right here we got our support arm for our sprocket assembly. That's where the tank gets its power, pulls the tank across the tracks. And then you see the hydraulic pumps, or the hydraulic motors. And uh, we got our swing arms down low where the wheels go. You got your upper return idler wheels. I make all my own wheels. Right here is your tensioner, front wheel tensioner. So this way here I can tension the track and I don't have to worry about it bending. And I can adjust it in and out. Even though these bolts are tight, this will slide. And then you see the driver's compartment. Right now we're working on, uh, or I'm working on a turn mechanism. I'll be getting it on here in the next week. Right here, you can see the floor, eighth inch diamond plate. I forgot to bring the seat for this one. And then this front piece where I break and put in, so I don't have to do a lot of framework. It makes it a lot easier. And then you see the carts that hold the tanks. 
and I'll be putting pulling lugs on the front and lifting lugs so I can lift them up a little bit easier. Anyway, that's just the frame, basic frame. And then back here is gonna speed up my building process. Just a bad time for the coronavirus hitting and a lot of places shutting down. The part I need, I have to wait. So I'm waiting for that. And over here's the uh, other CNC. This is a homemade burn table. Uh, the Gecko 540 board is messed up. It won't fire the torch. So I'm just gonna turn it into a CNC router. I can just turn the router on and off by hand and uh, make molds so I can do some of these body parts in fiberglass. And back here, I need to get this bad boy out so you can see it firing so I can shoot at the tanks. It was a prototype to the cannon for the tanks, but it worked so good, I just built the body around it and put an electric trigger on, thumb trigger, the little green dot. Bam. So that's an anti-drone cannon. And then you see up there, little cardinals, oh Lord. They, you notice it's a target. All right, gotta get the trailer hooked up, get the Mav on, and we'll go on and get it out of here. Now the rear hatch. All right. Let's get it going. See my fat ass. Yep. Bam. Whiskey, bourbon, I don't know. It used to be old granddad here. That's where they store the whiskey and uh, if I can zoom in, that's all barrels of whiskey in there. Alright, got them both to the house. Now I gotta get the tank unloaded before it gets dark. The camera makes it look a lot lighter than it is. Anyway, there's the math. There's Big Daddy the tank. Yeah, they got that thing 
started in like uh, a long time. The tank? You just hadn't been there. It's been about a month, maybe two months since it's been started. That's why the battery was a little low and it didn't want to fire right up. I never turned the gas off. Got the machine, see the house. Uh, my wife wants to set them out here for the next week. So the uh, kids are driving by with their parents from lockdown can have something cool to look at. So I'll be working on the turret. We got the tactical math. Uh, it'll go anywhere, like I said. Except for run over nine inch trees where the tree roots hook underneath the thing. If you saw the video. But anyway, uh, we're gonna lighten it up, drop the bed down. We just got the cannon on top for people. People's been driving around just to get out of the house because of the virus. So we're just getting them something to look at besides each other. My wife want me to bring them home, and so I don't really need them at the shop right now. Uh, I got the other tank I can put the uh, turn mechanism on, get it all figured out. got the uh, Mav and the uh, little army tank back to the house. Uh, my wife wanted to put stuffed animals in them for the week. So the kids driving by, like I said, they got something to look at besides each other. So as a matter of fact, I'm having trouble getting the animals put in because people keep stopping at the road and walking by taking pictures of the tanks. Anyhow, I got a reputation to uphold. And my wife wants me to stick the purple bunny in the down tank. You know, we build tanks, we well cut, build tanks, cuss, and shoot guns. We can't be seen running around the neighborhood sticking little purple bunnies in the army tank. So I gotta sneak around here. I'm watching, make sure ain't nobody see me and get, try to get this thing set up. My bad, he's a blue bunny. And I don't know what the hell that is. What the hell is that? Let me see what it looks like when nobody's looking. Oh, it looks like he's aiming down the barrel. All right. Not bad from that angle. Then we got the tank over there. She's going to get another bunny in. 